In this video, we're going to go ahead and create an invoice. All right, so we're not talking about using sales orders or estimates at this point, just create an invoice. Um, when you could create an invoice would be if the client calls in and orders something for you from you. You can create an invoice once you ship product out. Um, or if once you've completed services, you can create an invoice also. So I'm going to go ahead in here and say create invoice. All right, you choose your customer that you're creating the invoice for. Uh, which class? New construction. Okay, tab over. Is this a template you want to use or you want to choose one of your other templates? I'm going to go ahead and stick with this. What's your invoice number? What are your terms? Due date? Ship via? Okay, and all this information would be once you've customized your forms, all the information that you want filled in would be up here. All right, so your sales reps would be able to fill these in quickly. Okay, so your item down here, what are we selling them? We're selling them some carpeting. All right, and about, so install carpeting, it's flat fee of 550. Okay, it's services, so this is a non-taxable item. All right, and then they're also gonna buy a, an inventory part, so we're gonna buy some cabinet poles. And we're gonna say four at $25 each. I don't know what a cabinet pull is, but. <laughs> uh, okay, so these are physical items, so they have to be taxed. Uh, let's say that the carpet was actually remodeling. So instead of going to the um, new construction class, we can put that to the remodel class and still have it on the same invoice. Just because we have the class field in here doesn't necessarily mean we have it printed out to the client, so it won't confuse them at all, but it allows us to make sure that the proper department gets their income. All right. So you can add subtotals, discounts, all that fun stuff on the next lines, um, following lines down. Okay. But for now, we're just going to stick with those two. Put in a customer message. Thank you for your business. If they have a different tax rate, you can change that here. For now, we're just going to stick with San Thomas. All right. Again, if this is to be printed or to be emailed, um, if the, the client had it set up ahead of time, then it would already be checked off, but we're going to go ahead and print this one. If I mark it to be printed here, um, what that's basically saying is that it's going to be put into our print forms area until we're ready to batch print all of the, them for the day. I could also print right from the screen as well. So from here, I can print um, the packing slip. I can print the shipping level, the envelope. I can go ahead and send it, send the email, print it out, send the mail invoice, you know, mail the invoice. Go ahead and ship straight from the screen as well. So I can connect into my FedEx and UPS accounts if I have them available. I can also create an invoice letter here. So if I have um, a cover sheet that I want to put over my invoices, I can go ahead and prepare the invoice le letter. All right. The other things are down below, I can um, add time and costs, which we go over in another video, apply credits, again, we go over in another video. Uh, the tax code, the customer tax code, if it's a non-taxable customer, it's going to default to non-taxable, and that's set up in the customer center. You also have down here a memo field, that's an internal memo field, it won't print out on this invoice, so you can say, you know, please be very nice to this customer, or please ignore this customer's harshness. <laughs> All right. And we go ahead and say save and close. So what that's going to do right now, it posted the invoice. You don't have to do something else to post it. Post the invoice uh, to accounts receivable and it's letting us know that that customer owes us some money.